Welcome to King David Ministries with Reverend Eddie Royal Sr. Here is Reverend Royal. Well, praise God. This is the day that the Lord he has made. I will and you should all glory to God. Rejoice and be glad in it. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And I'm going to put it like this, is my strength. Amen. The more I go into it, you know, I, 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 the more I, I'm into this, and they say when I look back over my life and I think things over, to be, on, to be where I am now, I'm thankful. Because of the fact of the matter is, I could have been, well, in my case, I would be gone. I, I know this for a fact. I would be gone. As I said last week, uh, as a person that uh, I used to get high with, and uh, I've been delivered almost 34 years, and that person was still, they got de delivered for a while, but the consequences of going back there. The Word of God says, uh, and, and I want you to hear me, those that are around the world that maybe have a issue with substance abuse or some type of, of uh, bondage, but especially for substance abuse. The Word of God says in Proverbs, it said, as a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool to his father. It's in the Word of God. Now, when I was a little boy, I, I can remember this as of right now. I can remember a black, he's a black dog too, kind of kind of a big dog, but the dog is in our front yard, vomited, and I stood there over that dog, and that dog ate that. Now, that sounds real gross. It sounds real gross, but I watched that. That dog eat that vomit, their own vomit. The Word of God says, as a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool to his father. In other words, you get delivered. God, he said, he said, whom the Son has made free is free indeed. And you turn around and go right back to it. Because remember, the devil can't tempt you with anything until you unless you yield to it. It's the same thing they did Jesus. See, and we're going to get to that in these series because we've got like two series going here on this podcast and then as we do our live streams. Um, uh, we're talking about domination, but we're into the battle of the mind. A amen. But that, if you think about it, and I want you to think about it, if you go back to that, it's like eating your own vomit. The devil laughs at you, but the Bible says that, that as a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool to his father. If you return to that, you're eating your own vomit. And I've been going this way right now for 34 years, almost 34 years. It'll be June 18th of this year, it'll be 34 years. However, I've learned and Ventre is to think about it right now. Marshal my thoughts as of now to get one thing. Do this one thing instead of scatter shots. Receiving scatter, because that's what the devil will do. A amen. Uh, amen. So I'm happy and I'm thankful that I'm doing this. And he said, those that I choose, I qualify that I would rather be doing this. But the devil will put it in your mind, you miss it out. Again, look what you used to do. And I get it. I get it all the time. I get it. Pastor Royal, do you get that? All the time. Because why? We're in a war. For the weapons of our warfare, brothers and sisters, you must realize if... If, if you don't hear it at your church or your perspective, you are in a war. You might as well realize it, whether you like it or not, and what and you could be winning or hopefully or losing. And most Christians are losing. You can't say that. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. 
If, if, if we have the knowledge of God, the weapons of our warfare are not currently then said, uh, put on the whole arm of God. What is the arm of God? This. So, it's, it's not just a book of sacred writings. I, I, I've learned that. And as I go more into this, it's not a book of sacred writings. It's to be put to use. The Word of God is to be put to use. Knowledge and its proper use wins battles. Now, what did I hear? You, I, Pastor, you keep saying that, yes. And, and, and the reason why I, I've been in this study uh, uh, from the late Dr. Fred Price. And uh, he's gone on to be with the Lord. But there's a lot of ministers have been on the Lord, but they left a lot of information and teachings. And if anything, for any minister to put that out to you, that'll make you better instead of a band-aid, is what you need. Now, that's why I'm so happy. And I want other folks to be happy, especially that's been in bondage where I was. For the church failed to realize, and then I tried to get this to a very good pastor that I know. Years and years ago, that church was strategically set right there in the middle of, of uh, it, it was a lot of crack use going on. And I tried to get that person to maybe start a, 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 a substance abuse, open the doors and try to invite the people to help them get it. Wasn't interested. Wasn't interested at all. They would rather have, you know, service after service, people inside there, that's it, you know what I mean? But what about the good shepherd? The one that left the 99 and to get the one. And so I'm so thankful. And and the joy of the Lord is our strength. But I want you to be delivered. You may not see others, but you're looking at me. That's why you people keep saying, well, why do you keep talking about when you was on drug and alcohol? The word said, let the redeemers of the Lord say some. I'm doing what the word said. He said they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the more and the words of their testimony. The more you tell it, the more you stay free. So, and I'm going to say this, and uh, we, we're going to get in our lesson called we want to be. We've been talking about in this setting. We kind of touched on it in our live stream at the Sonesta about Jesus, but I'm adding. In this setting about the plan of redemption people think and I thought that Jesus just came to die for our sins that we won't have to go to hell we have the right to eternal life that's it that's all and he went back to the father no baby there's more to it than that Jesus the man watch this remember we talked about it. I'm off again humus man means spirit and dirt God is a legalist. In order to redeem us, in order to redeem us, Christ, Jesus had to become legal to make Christ legal. In, in other words, Christ. But in order to get into this realm, Jesus had to be legal and to bring Christ into this realm. Because human men and women or human means this. They, we are the only people that have authority in this realm. Not even the devil. Even though he is the God of this world. However, as a Christian, you are not of this world. Jesus even said it. But we are the only people that have the body that have authority in this realm. And the devil knows that. You cannot, without, you cannot outsmart or whip the devil and the devil knows it and most Christians I ain't talking about the world most Christians what did, what did the word say my people this was even before Jesus came are destroyed for a lack of knowledge Jesus had to come through this to the end of this realm through a woman to make him legal in order to die but that was not it just it he had to die for our sin, but that's not it. He said, the son of man. 
Yes, he was the son of God, but he walked here as a man. But what people have failed to read, and a lot of preachers have it, it won't get into it. Amen. He's like me. Except one thing. I'm, a, I'm ahead of myself already. Except one thing. When the when the angel came to Mary, this was the plan of redemption. Said, "Look, we want to you, you're going to ha want to have a son, and you are to name him Jesus." Mary said, "What? I never. I don't know a man. In other words, I never had sex. Okay. So how? What? And Joseph. And what? But but before that, but she said something to come unto me. She obeyed." A a amen. But she even said, I know man. He said, the Holy Ghost will come over you. Amen. And impregnate you. Now, when she came up pregnant, Joseph, they, I think they were engaged, was saying, I think the word said he was going to put her away secretly. And the angel came and said, suffer to be so. Take her as your wife. Because that thing that she carries is holy. A a a amen. Amen. However, Joseph could not have been his daddy. And I'll tell you why. Because if Joseph's seed would have been in Jesus, then Jesus, listen at me, would have needed a savior himself. Amen. That's why they couldn't kill him until that night when he just got ready to take him in the Garden of Gethsemane when he said, tonight I'm going to strike the shepherd, and that's what I'm going to yield to it. Otherwise, not even they try to push him off the, off the uh, cliff, and he walked right through. Cause death had no claim on him. How is he going to redeem us if he did? If he had to pay? But otherwise, then death. He was like me. He left all that in glory, and he came here. Glory to God. Glory to God. To show us how to do it, huh? And I'm so happy. These things need to be taught. Let me say this. A amen. That's why I, I, we need, you just can't be there as pastors, preachers, or anybody. And, 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 and I heard Dr. King say, we can't be free until all of us free. Huh? How can I, my brother, I be free? My brother's still in bondage. We got to get him delivered. Got to get her delivered. Look at what's going on. Folks walking around like they don't know where they are. And this last Sunday, a lady came in to our service at the Sonesta. Pastors is happening. Pastors is happening. Said, uh, Minister uh, Geraldine Chandler went to the bathroom and this lady was in the ladies' bathroom, was, and she, uh, she said, I was startled. And she said, well, I understand there's a ministry around here. He said, you're talking to the right person. Come follow me. The lady was homeless. The lady was homeless. Hmm? The lady was homeless, but she came in at, Lord have mercy. But I, she saw, she didn't have a smile on her, but she saw that she was welcome. Amen. You could tell she was homeless. She, you know, she wasn't sm smelling the best. But she, but you could tell that was because there's a lot of mental health issues out there. But come to find out, that woman said that she was a missionary. I mean, an evangelist. Come to find out. Uh, so as Sister Chandler ministered. She got to talking, then she got into preaching, off camera. Then she got in, she came up, she said a few things. Then she got into the word, and she knew the word. What happened? This is what's out there, brothers and sisters. Pastors, you cannot ignore this. They come in and it started. And like I said last night, what are you going to do when they come? They may not smell good. What you going to do? You cannot minister them like you've been doing. I don't care if you've been passing 60 years. I don't care. They coming. And she was so elated.
that we just, we, I didn't, I just, we just overlook everything. Let her go. Then she started praising God. From my seat, she started praising God. Something happened. We told her to come back. We hopefully she will. And bring others. What happened? This is what this is all about. It started. It started. And I am so thankful that it happened. We need to get them delivered. Psalms 112. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who delights greatly in his commandment. His descendants will be mighty on the earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches will be in his house. And his righteousness endures forever. Let's stop there. First three verses of, of 112 Psalm. Father, we thank you for the word, the anointing that is on the word. In Jesus, glory to God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. I hope that as this start, and, I, and, I, and as I say, if you're around, come on. 5985 West Century Boulevard, every Sunday at 3 o'clock. We welcome you. Doesn't matter how you look or whatever it is. I remember somebody told, uh, uh, um, well, anyway, they were there at a church and some kids, they were homeless or something and they were hiding. No, somebody, they, they had, they were dirty and everything, or feet. And he said, well, who is, you know, is that? And the Lord spoke to him and said, don't you criticize anybody's feet unless you're ready to wash them. Amen goes right there. I understand about, I'm not a fire and brimstone preacher. I'm not. They're supposed to be there. I understand that. My issue is that I've, I've, learned, I've learned once somebody gets saved, once somebody gets delivered, now what? I'm, still, I'm not dead yet. I'm, I, I'm not in heaven yet. Now what? Huh? I understand now. I, I, now, I'm saved. I'm going. However, there are issues that need that be to be there. I got saved at eight years old, and I was very elated. But what happened? Listen, listen. In the case of Jesus, as I just said before, huh? Now, when we talked about the, the, uh, our, our Savior, watch this. In Genesis 3.15, you remember when I told you, he had no seed of a man. In order to redeem us, the death had no claim on him. Genesis 3.15 said, and, and, now this is after that, 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 that Adam messed up and gave the authority to the devil. You got to realize he was the God of this world. He's God in the, in the beginning, God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. He made this whole entire planet, amen, for his creation, his man, his child, amen. The, right there, the whole entire planet. This is the only planet that I know of that in science, it, it, it said it, that has breathable air. In the beginning, God. And there's more evidence of, a, of God than it is not God. There's more evidence of Jesus than not Jesus. Now, 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 so he said, let's create man in my likeness and our image, but right here, and let him have dominion, okay? But I'm a little ahead of myself. Now, he created all this, that's what, he, that's what Jesus called the last thing, for his man. But watch this. What happened was, he told he told Adam, I'm giving you dominion over all the works of my hand. You ain't praying with me. But he said, I give you dominion. Let them have dominion. What does that mean? He backed out. He backed out. I heard Sister, I heard, I, I heard sister Chandler say something one time, and uh, several times. She said, if I'm giving you something, once it leaves my hand, it's yours. God's the same thing. He gave it to Adam. But he messed up. A -a Amen. And so, in order, God could have changed everything or started, I don't know. But what happened was, he said, I'm going to fix it. But he warned, told the devil. In Genesis 3.15, and I will put an 
enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. The man has the seed. The woman doesn't have the seed. That is the first instance of Jesus and the devil knows, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, he said, boy, you messed up. Amen. You already got, he already got thrown out of heaven. Lost, you know, lost his lofty position. Doomed. Landed down here. But some way, had to be breathing just like Trump did what he did. He got in. He talked that man out of the, the out of dominion. He said, let them. Now, uh, uh, again, he said, let us make man. Uh, in Genesis 126. Man. In Genesis 126, then God said, let us make man in our likeness and in our, in our image and let them have dominion. God said that. Over the fish of the sea, etc. Et dominion. What does that mean? Dominion is defined as sovereignty or control. What is sovereignty? What does it mean? It is, and I like this, says supreme power or authority. What he had. Supreme power of authority. Hmm? That's what Jesus has come. Now, we're going to continue this here, but what I want to, I looked at here, and, and let's, when Jesus was born, in Bethlehem, he's raised up in Canada. He said, the, the angels, all the, the angels were rejoicing and, and um, everything. But then, at 12 years old, um, It's, let's look at, at Luke 2 and 52. Luke 2 and 52. He, his parents, he got he got separated from his parents, I think, for three days. When he got back, he was teaching. He's 12 years old. You tell me what seminary Jesus went to. Hmm? Wisdom of God. It's confounding them. But in Luke 2, 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom. How can God increase, increase in wisdom? He's just like me. But he increased in wisdom and in favor with God and men. Jesus increased in wisdom. Watch this. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power and went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Let me, let me say this. Let me get, take one minute to say this. You can't heal nobody. Only thing a pastor, a preacher, anybody can do is lay hands on you and believe God. But the power is within. But I've heard people, I even, uh, Sister Chandler heard him say that, well, somebody healed, that this person healed me. You can't heal nobody. Jesus had even said it himself. He said, it's the Father in me. He does the work. But that thing, I, 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 I heal somebody, it's a prestigious thing. No, you ain't, can't heal nobody. And you're going to pay a price for that as you keep that up. Jesus came here to show us how to do it. Let me tell you one thing. Let, 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 let me say this. I got six minutes. How long, brothers and sisters, does it take for someone to die? Think about it. I'm talking about at the point of death. You can be on your sick bed for 30 years. But how long does it take to die? Not that. Not that. Listen. When Jesus started his earthly ministry, when the, he walked into the Jordan River, and the Spirit of God came down to him like a door in the first place in order to preach with what he needed to do. And he even, he said, and the, he said, do not leave Jerusalem until you endure with power for an own house. And you have to be filled with the Holy Ghost in order to, to, to minister and preach. Uh-oh. 
Jesus showed us how to do it. He did everything we supposed to do. Because he walked as a man. He said, the son of man. He didn't say the son of God. He knew what he was. Who he was. And who he is. He said, the son of man. That's pretty much saying the son of God. But he's the son of man. How long has it taken that like that? But three and a half years. Three and a half years. He showed us how to do it. He said, greater works shall you do. Because I go to my father. Three and a half years. Don't take it. He could have just died. But God is a legalist. He sent Jesus to do and that's what we need to start teaching. We he operated the same thing we had to operate with. Hmm? The devil tried to tempt him on the mount of, of, of temptation. He said, if you be. Number one, he tried to cast doubt. If it's a bad to doubt anyway. But he was trying to show us how to he tried to teach his disciples how to do it. You remember what they said? My my son was 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 uh, had these epileptic fits. I brought him to your disciples, and, and but they couldn't they couldn't cast him out. Jesus said, "Bring him to me." He and he, he cast it cast it out. The disciples said, "Why can't we not cast him out?" But he was saying, "You could have done this." He said, "Because of your unbelief." He say this that I found out. Fornication, adultery, and everything else, that's bad too. But 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 unbelief of the word of God, that's that's bad. Too. You have the, the, the written word of God right here, but you doubt it. What did it say? When Peter came out the boat and walked on the water, Jesus, he said, Come. Why did he tell him to do it if he didn't and, and, and he said, I, you can't do that. I'm the son of God, you can't do it. But he saw he had faith to do it. Come on. He's trying to show him how to do it. Peter walked on the water just like Jesus. Amen. But what our problem is, and the same thing that's going to do, he looked. Jesus was in that same wind. And then when he got back, the boat, the wind said, then those who were with him in the boat, he said, What? But he said, Why did you doubt? Doubt kills it. Period. You can get you can just kill the power of God. He said he went to Nazareth, amen, and, and, and there he could do no mighty works, amen, except heal a few sick folk, and they marvel at their unbelief. That their unbelief stopped the power of God in Jesus. I read it. And you and I can do the same thing. Hmm? Because of the, and the devil knows all this. Because the power is in you. But if you don't develop and we don't get, and get it done, and, and and with this book, because if we in a war, uh, uh, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm just about out of time. A a amen. We're gonna continue this on next week. Jesus didn't walk two feet off the ground. He showed us how to do it. And then the last of the last days, he said, these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. This is what needs to be seen in the church. If this ain't what's going to be happening in these last and evil days, it's just like the branch you're going to be cut off. Don't say you can't do it because you will. And if you're talking about your wealth and how many things you get up, baby, you can have uh, all the offices in Canada that, that can go like that. Did you hear what I'm saying? You can have all you, uh, all the wealth you think you want, like that. See, t tomorrow, 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 5985 West Century Boulevard. Be there, be there, be there at the Century Hotel, amen, at the Columbard Room, amen. I will be ministering. Sister Chandler will be ministering. She just, she shared with me, oh, man, it's going to be powerful on tomorrow. Bring, bring the homeless, whatever you, I don't care if you're high, drunk, it doesn't matter how you look, it doesn't matter. Come on. 5985 West Century Boulevard. A lot of y'all preachers. Amen. Come on and get and, and, and take your rifle plate. Amen. Repent means pit, pent up. Come back to the place where you fell from. See you next week. Bye bye.
The ministry can be heard every Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on KTYMGospel.net.